After you have completed the setup steps, you will manage the project tasks from the project dashboard. You will see the title, description, and due date that you selected during project setup. You will also note that there is a link that will allow people to access and participate in this sort. We will begin with how to invite people to participate in this sort. Invitations to participate in completing a competency sort are sent from the administrator's own email. They are not sent from the ThinkWise system. This makes it easier for the project administrator to manage candidates because any returned or bounced emails will go directly back to the project administrator rather than returning to a ThinkWise email address. To send an invitation email to a participant, there are several options. You can copy and paste this link directly from the project homepage and paste it into a new email message. Add any accompanying text and send the link to participants. If you would like, you may view some example communications that we have provided for both invitation and reminders. To use this text, highlight the text and then copy and paste into a new email. You will note that both the invitation and reminder emails already have the link to the competency sort included in the body of the text. This is a quick and easy way for you to send out new surveys to additional participants. Please feel free to modify the text after you put it in your email. This text is not required, it is simply a suggestion. The only thing that has to be included in the message is the link. From the project homepage, you can also track participant progress. To do this, click on the Participants tab. The progress bar indicates how many sorts have been completed. Participants will only show up in this list if they have clicked into the survey. If they never log in after clicking on the link, they will not appear in this list. The survey progress indicates whether or not a participant has completed their sort. Notice in this example that Ben Campbell has completed, while Quinn Howard is still in progress. To send a reminder, there are two options. You can either send a reminder to each individual, or you can remind all of those who are incomplete. If for any reason that you need to remove someone from the project, simply click on delete next to their name. This will delete the candidate from the project and all the data will be deleted. When you are ready, you can click on the reports tab to view the competency model detail input report. This allows you to get together to discuss the differences between participants over which competencies are critical and then settle on a final model. To download the competency model detail input report, click on download. Once everyone has agreed on the competencies, you will complete the final sort. To finalize your sort, click on start next to the finalize and publish competency model on the admin tasks tab. Next, you will have an opportunity to make sure that your critical competencies match what was agreed to. Click on Submit Final Competency Model to be taken to the Final Confirmation page. Check the box to confirm that you understand and wish to finalize the competency sort and click Submit. Finally, click on the Reports tab and click Download next to the Competency Model Report.